What's up everybody? Welcome to downtown Hollywood. I'm gonna show you guys the neighborhood and take you inside my studio so you can get a close look at what it looks and feels like when you come down here to get SMP. So right behind me is the Cirque Hotel. That's pretty much where everybody stays when they fly in and get their SMP. And now we're gonna go right here down the end of the street and I'm gonna show you guys my studio. Yes, what I love about this place is tons of cool ass restaurants, bars, clubs, hookah lounges, literally everything right here in like two, three blocks. So uh, once you get here, you don't even gotta, you don't gotta go nowhere. There's everything right here, walking distance. So now that I showed you the neighborhood, there's literally something for everybody here. And come on, I'm taking you inside the studio. Where are we going? We're going into the new studio. It's always been my dream since I was a little kid. I want, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep it like modern and updated, but real vintagey, like that old school barber shop, tattoo shop. They're very similar anyways, but like the whole vintage vibe. All you guys are gonna come to the new location and check it out as soon as I'm done. So we're here, welcome to my studio. I really like old school vintage barber shops, vintage tattoo shops. The next thing was I need my logo on the wall and Aaron was just like, fuck it bro, I'm gonna paint it. So bam, my logo on the wall and this whole entire wall is a painting. Everyone thinks it's a sign, but it's not. This is hand painted, the whole wall. This is actually my logo here. It's the Maneki Neko, which is the, the Good Fortune Cat. So I actually gifted this to Taylor. Um, right at the front door was where you should keep it because you shouldn't buy one of these. Someone should gift it to you. One of my favorite new pieces, Aaron actually just brought this in today. This is the Statue of David. When I got this, it was all white. So I just added the embellishments um, with all the gold trim. Um, the Versace geometric snake, which you have along all the walls in the building, um, goes perfect with the uh, with the rest of the decor. Matte black, metallic gold. This is where I'm gonna set up the uh, the barber space. Put like uh, two barber stations, just two barber chairs, not crazy. Make it like a nice little vintage barber shop. So next, I'm gonna show you guys the barber shop room. Let's go get into work already. This is where we prep everybody, make their hairlines and uh, get them ready to go change their life. The wall is all vintage, barber razor blades, brushes, razors. Being in the barber industry, just collecting little knickknacks and stuff like that. This is gonna be the tattoo of the S&P studio. Uh, probably I'm thinking like maybe like three stations, a uh, nice big table for training. I always wanted a pool table, so boom. I got a pool table comes with a hard top, so it literally turns right into a dining room table. This is where we do all the student trainings at. So this is one of my favorite walls. It was a mission to get it full. We got Aaron's fingerprint in the middle. I got these two prints. I got the gorilla. I got the tiger head. And then uh, I just took it to the local frame shop and they had like some really dope vintage frames. So they popped that in there for me. Then you got my station here. This is where I work. This is where I lay everything down. All that SP you see on Instagram is done right here. So my boy got this clothing store in ATL, right? I see him shooting this little basketball. I'm like, eh, it's a raw ass rim. I want to get it. And like, yeah, five minutes later, what well, pops up on my Instagram for sale? The basketball room. So I bought it. <laughs> they got me. I got the big Medusa right here. This is easily my favorite mural today. It got me a lot of recognition. Um, actually just won an award for best mural artist in Fort Lauderdale. And this is the one that put me on the map, definitely. Another hidden treasure I found in a thrift store. Found a raw alligator hide. Again, I gave it to Aaron. I told him, go to work on it. A customer offered me $2,500 for this thing. I told him, hell no, I ain't selling it. This wall, again, another plain wall that took me forever to fill up, but one of my clients happens to be an amazing wallpaper guy. Tells me he got this wallpaper in his trunk from a mansion that he just got done finishing and it's gonna match my store perfectly. So he brought it in and I was like, man, fuck it, put it up. It matched perfect. 
So Mark put up this whole wallpaper for me. It came out super dope. And it literally looked like it was meant for my store. You know, my goal is to have it really nice and loungy, real comfortable. Uh, I didn't want to make it like an uncomfortable doctor's office. I wanted my studio to almost fit the neighborhood we're in, downtown Hollywood. Uh, what I love about it is literally when I drive here, I don't get back in my car until I got to go home. We walk across the street to, to the restaurants on the weekends and all these bars are, are lit up. It's almost like a, a South Beach vibe with less traffic. It's a super chill neighborhood and um, I love it here. I'm here more than my house, so I had to make sure this was perfect.